Hello. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at how we can integrate files and text from outside NetBeans into an application that we're creating. We imagine we're creating some kind of car manager, which needs to have access to certain icons, which I have on the desktop. And there's a text in my text file here. And I also have text on a website that I want to include. And I also have some Java source files that are just separate, that are maybe from a course I'm doing. And I want to integrate all of these into my project. So how do I do that? It turns out to be very easy. Let's get started by looking at the icons. So here we have a package for resources. Now we can do sev several different things. For example, I can drag an icon from, or any image, whatever it is, from outside of NetBeans and drop it into the editor if I want to just simply view it. Now, it's not part of any project right now. It's just simply opened inside NetBeans. So you can see the, the whole image in the editor, and there's a small thumbnail also showing the dimensions, which is kind of useful too, in the navigator. Now, I'll close it, so now it's no longer in NetBeans. However, we want to include these images in our application, so instead of dropping it in the editor, you can drop it directly into a package. So there you can see, here is our image, which is now in a package, and now we can refer to it in our Java code. But um, we have several images, so what we can do instead of dragging them one by one is we can select that folder, right-click it, and choose Copy, and then go back into NetBeans and right-click on the package and choose Paste. And now we have all the content, and you can see a new package has been created. A sub-package of Org Manager Cars resources which we had, now a new package has been added to that called Icons, which we can see more clearly if we view Java packages as a reduced tree. So we see cars, and now we can see resources and icons, and within that we have each of our images. And you can notice as we move from one to the other, I'm not double-clicking, I'm simply moving up and down with the arrow keys, the uh, navigator gives a small thumbnail view together with the dimensions of the images. And if you double click on these icons, then they open inside of the editor. So that's for images. To summarize, you can either drag individual images or you can select the whole folder containing them and just right click on the package of NetBeans and choose paste. Next, let's look at these uh, Java source files. Now we have two separate Java source files here. We can select both of them. We can say copy. And go into one of our packages, let's say this one, and we choose paste. And here they are. Now, of course, um, it's unlikely that they'll have exactly the same packet structure as you have, so you can go into the class and press Alt Enter, and you have a choice. Either move it into the correct folder, which will mean that NetBeans will create a package or a demo, and so then the package statement here will be correct. Or you can change the package statement, the package declaration here, to um, the place where it is currently found. And the same is true for the other one. In this case, it doesn't have a package declaration at all. So here I will do out enter. And move to the correct folder, which means it will be moved to the default package, which we don't want. We want the package where it currently is found. And here you can see the package declaration has been added. So that's for Java source files, very easy to include them. So if you're doing a course or something where you have separate Java source files, including them in a project is as easy as copying and pasting them. The final two examples, one is we have here a text file which contains text. So I press Control A in here and Control C to copy it onto the clipboard. And then I move to NetBeans and we'll create here a text file. Let's say that's what we want to do. Um, so here is a place where we can search for different kinds of files. And one of these is a empty file. We'll call it cars.txt. And then we do control V, so paste, and we've pasted it in there. So this is one approach. Another one, of course, so we'll just delete this is to right-click on the cars.txt file and say copy. 
and then right click where we want it and use paste it has the same effect and another way to do this which is also kind of interesting is here we have a system of print line if we go into our cars.txt and we copy this so we can actually see we have two different paragraphs here and very long strings so we've copied that and now we go inside of our system at print line and do control V in here and it's been pasted and what you can see is that the paragraphing has been maintained and also we have our backward slashes added to make the quotation marks uh, visible within the text once we run it so if you have multiple paragraphs you can see that that the back, backslash n and the plus for concatenation have been added automatically um, the final example in that regard is let's go into your website so here we select all of this stuff and I right click and I choose copy now I can go into NetBeans and again we're in system print line and I do control V and here it is pasted and again with the quotation marks we get the backward slashes and if we were to get really crazy let's take three two or three different paragraphs here or there's at least two we paste them and again what we see is that we have here the line break added to make this two paragraphs another very hidden tip in this regard relates to this image in the browser so I'm in the browser I see an image I would like to include it in my project I can drag it and drop it into NetBeans so here I've dropped it into the editor exactly like another image from disk but what's even better is I can drag this image from the browser and go into NetBeans and drop it on the package and then that image is now included in my project also very relevant in this context is we can now we have quite a, some content on our clipboard press ctrl shift D and once we do that we can see that what we've copied so this is the text that's been copied earlier onto the clipboard and here is the text that's been copied onto the clipboard and these ones I've copied earlier earlier on simply separate words up to nine clipboard entries are available when you press Control shift d so this is what we put onto the clipboard you can see the nice paragraphing is included and then once you have one of the items on the clipboard just press enter and it will be put where your cursor is for example if we now select this block here and you control c so now that main method is on the clipboard if you now do control shift d we can see that there it is um, and let's press control A and then control C onto the clipboard and then again control shift D and we see our entire class is there so you can put whatever you select onto the clipboard via control C and then control shift D opens the clipboard within NetBeans and then you can press enter to include whatever you have from the clipboard into wherever you are working it doesn't have to be the Java editor it could be anything else so let's go back and we'll take our cars.txt file copy it and paste it and inside of our cars text file delete everything control s to save it and we press control shift d and here we we'll see the whole clipboard again so in any file in NetBeans press control shift d and you'll see the clipboard in other words, you now have several tips for working with the clipboard and for pulling in files from your file system outside of NetBeans into NetBeans. Have fun with these tips and tricks, and hopefully it will speed up your work in integrating your external code and files into NetBeans.